Hello mga kamotors, sa mga math enthusiasts and resilient students. Shout out sa mga estudyante ko sa Kapalaran Elementary School. Hello, hello sa inyo, pati sa mga teachers dyan. So again, I am your teacher for this day, Sir Johnny Olor Vida. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel para updated kayo sa mga video lessons ko. Let's start! Our lesson for this day is about addition and subtraction of similar fractions without regrouping. Without regrouping muna tayo para hindi kayo mahirapan. Let us have this problem. Aling Nelby bought two third meter of yellow cloth, one half meter of blue cloth, and one fourth meter of red cloth to make a dress for her daughter. What is the total length of cloth that Aling Nelba bought? Remember, the garment's capital of the Philippines is Taytay! And we are living here in Taytay, kaya marami dito mga damit. So let us solve this problem. What operation are we going to use to solve the total length of cloth that Aling Nelby bought? And that's correct. So we are going to add all the fractions in the problem. Let us try to add the following fractions. Two-thirds plus one-half plus one-fourth. What kind of fractions are they? And that is correct. They are the similar fractions. Tulad ng tinuro ko last video, we are going to change this to the similar fractions. Hindi pwedeng i-add natin ang two plus one plus one. The answer is 4. And 3 plus 2 plus 4, the answer is 9. This is incorrect. So, wag na wag nyo gagawin yan, mga kamatters. The first thing that we are going to do is to change the dissimilar fractions to similar fractions. So, we are going to get again the very good, the LCD. And what is the LCD of 2, 3, 2, and 6? 4. Very good. The LCD is 12 because 12 can be divided to 3, to 2, and to 4. Okay, let us divide. 12 divided by 3. What is the answer? 4. Then multiply it to numerator. 4 times 2 is equals to 8. So that will be our first fraction. Next. 12 divided by 2, 6 times 1, the answer is 6. And that will be our second fraction, 6, 12. 12 divided by 4, okay, that's right, 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So our new fractions, our similar fractions now are 8, 12, 6, 12, and 312. So, they are now similar fractions. So, pwede na natin silang i-add. So, add the numerator. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. So, 17 then copy the denominator. But wait, there's more. 17, 12 is an improper fraction. So, we are going to change it to mixed number para ma lowest term natin because that is the final rule. We are going to express the fraction in lowest term. 17 divided by 12 is 1. 1 times 12 is 12. And 17 minus 12 is 5. So, our final answer will be very good. 1 and 5, 12. So, 1 and 5, 12 meters of cloth were bought by Miss Aling Nelvi. So, that is our final answer. Let us practice. Let us solve this problem. What is the sum of 1 and 3 pips and 4 and 1 half? Again, they are the similar fractions. So we are going to change it into similar. 
Don't forget to copy the whole number, the plus sign, another whole number 4, and the bar sign for our fraction. So what is the LCD of 5 and 2? Good job! You are going to multiply the numerator and denominator. 5 times 2 is 10. Then, let us divide it to denominator. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. So, our first fraction is 1 and 6 10. Next, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 1, the numerator, the answer is 5. Then, let us now add the whole number. 1 plus 4 is 5. 6 plus 5 is 11. And copy our denominator. Very good. Wait. Let us take a look on our answer. The fraction is improper fraction. Yes, 11, 10 is an improper fraction. So we are going to change it to mixed number. 11 divided by 10 is 1. 11 minus 10 is 1. So the answer is 1 and 11, 10. Then we are going to add the whole number 5. So our final answer will be 6 and 110. Very good. So, nakuha ng mga matters natin kasama dito. You have to remember the following. To add the similar fractions, change the fraction to similar fraction using equivalent fractions or DLCD. Proceed with addition of whole number, the numerator, and copy the common denominator. Don't forget, Express your answer in lowest term. Let us have problem number two. A farmer harvested 10 and 1 half kilogram of okra. He sold 6 and 1 fifth kilogram in the market. How many kilograms was left? Thank you sa mga farmers natin dyan. Thank you very much. Sila yung nagpo-provide sa atin ng mga vegetables, fruits sa kinakain natin ngayon, especially during our pandemic. Sino kaya naging plantito o plantita sa inyo na nagtanim sa mga bahay ngayong pandemic na to? So, hello sa inyong lahat. Thank you, thank you very much. So, let us go back to our problem. What are we going to do with this? Addition? Oh, Yes, very good. We are going to subtract. So let us subtract 10 and 1 half minus 6 and 1 fifth. So as you can see, they are they are the similar fraction. So we are going to change it again to similar. So let us copy the equation. So, what will be our LCD? Very good. 10 will be our LCD. So, let us have our numerator. 10 divided by 2, 5. 5 times 1 is 5. Very good. Next, 10 divided by 5, 2 times 1 is 5. Ooh, ayan, they are similar fractions, so pwede na natin silang i-add. Ah, i-subtract. 10 minus 6 is 4. 5 minus 2 is 3. And copy the common denominator. So, this will be our final answer because 310 is already in lowest term. 4 and 310 kilograms. Next, remember to, this, uh, to subtract the similar fractions, change the fraction to similar, proceed with subtraction, and don't forget to express your answer in lowest term. It's your turn. Try to solve this equation. 6 and 4, 6 minus 3 and 1 half. Again, I will give you a minute to solve this. 
so yeah very good I will help you now so what will be the LCD very good six is the LCD because six is a multiple of two that's why six the bigger number is our LCD then six divided by six is one one times four is four next six divided by two is three three times one is three so let us now subtract six minus three is three 4 minus 3 is 1. Then copy the common denominator. Our answer is 3 and 1, 6. Did you get it? Very good. So, ayan. Good job sa inyong lahat. So, I hope na nakuha ninyo ang ating lesson on how to add and subtract the similar fraction. Okay, reflection time. A, if you understand the lesson. B, if you still confuse. And C, if you don't understand the lesson. How sad kung letters yung aking makikita dyan. That's all for this day, mga kamaters. Again, see you again on my next video. Bye for now. I'm Sir John Elorbida. Ready to help. Bye, mothers!